our standard entrances throughout wherever we build. This is now in the Gambia, tough city in Gambia. We have a seven meter road and this is the, the exit. We have another seven meter dual road there, which is the entrance. And then we have the bicycle lanes and the walkways. Now that's the signage. You have the middle signage which says tough city. And then in Sierra Leone, you're going to have the same thing at Tough Salon Micro City. So it's the same at Greater Tough in Port Harcourt. So these are our standard, standard entrances. Seven meter wide dual carriage, which is, which is exit. And then you have the garden nicely done here. All the trees, we care for the environment, all grassed up. And then over there uh, is the entrance. And then drainages, we make sure that in every place that we do, we cater for drainage. So there are no flooding. The drains are all here, so the water runs out. Look at all these trees, nicely done. So these are standard design. This is standard. We make sure at every entrance, we have dual carriage. One two goes out, other goes in. Guys, you know what we do is at the gatehouse, as you can see here, there's electronic control because it's a smart city. So you have electronic control when you go in, when you have visitors also, you get control, and then you have an emergency for fire engines or something that is taller. And then obviously you have the pedestrians that are all controlled. So in every tough city, be it in the Gambia, Sierra Leone, or Nigeria, you must have a gatehouse. So security is key and is smart. Now I am walking through the pedestrian entrance. So in every estate, I mean clusters of estates within the city, you have a pedestrian entrance and that's the in-gate. There you go, it's only for vehicular and then security for this estate and then out gate there and another pedestrian or bicycle lane. So that's what we do, that's what we do. Clusters of estate and every estate within the city has its own security. And this one in the Gambia is called Benna. And we'll find names in each of the other countries, meaning Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Every country has its own local dialect and that would be you. The street, the width of the street is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have this, which is the pedestrian walkway. And then on the other side, you have the bicycle lane. And then in every place that we develop, be it in the Gambia, Sierra Leone or Nigeria, we plant trees and also do all the flowers. As you can see here, this is only one year, huh? all the palm trees that we have done, all the flowers are planted. Electricity, all the power is on the ground. So these are all the distribution board and then high speed internet. These are all the manholes for, for the internet. So everything is concealed, interlocking blocks, all done. And guys, all things, everything that you see here, it was all done within two years. And this estate here, which is called Bena in the Gambia, a cluster of 60 houses, it's 100% done, sold out, and people are living here. So that's what we do, we have them in clusters. And look at the streets, well kept, nicely done, clean, and this is exactly what you're going to have in Sierra Leone, and same in the greater Tap city in Port Harcourt. Welcome back to another episode of the TAF Hub. It's me, Anita C., now General Manager for TAF Salon. Same boots, same red, same energy, but I'm in my favorite place in, wait for it, Sierra Leone. <laughs> hey, Anita. And who do I have here? Woo. How you Mr. doing? Jai. Welcome back. Thank you. Salon. Wow. Salon. Uh -huh. You can't keep up. You're all over the place. <laughs> oh my God, MD. You know, you know, let me tell you what's happening now. When I, when I wake up in the morning at times, I wonder where I am. <laughs> just, just getting up from the bed. You know, you can imagine trying to operate uh, in uh, Port Harcourt, uh, Gambia, and Sierra Leone. Yes. But it's all fun. It's yeah. all fun. Don't be fooled. <laughs> we know when he's around. <laughs> he brings the energy and he also brings the hard work. No excuses policy. If you work for TAF, Africa Global, TAF Salon, wherever you are, you have to be a warrior. And he has the best team. So tell us, MD. How has it been? It's been a really busy five days for you. Yeah, it's been. Um, first, I mean, Gambia, we're trying to hand over Didi. Yes. But again, you know, the team in Gambia, um, they're already, they know what they're doing. So um, uh, they're on. So they need very little supervision. They're on their own. Now, the most difficult part has been setting up here in Sierra Leone and also now starting up uh, in, the, in, in, in Nigeria, in Port Harcourt. Now, obviously, we're scaling up. We're scaling up at a very large scale. We are. 
You know, here in Salon, as you know, it's 5,000 units. 5,000 units you know, in Salon. 5,000 units. And this in John Obe, we're going to put up 1,230. Already started sales on, you know, the office is all set up, you know, everything. Cars, as you know, setting up a business. So um, it's been a bit uh, difficult, but we've overcome all the challenges. And yes, sales have been going on. People are now confident and, well, I guess you can go on your own. Yes. Now, having done this, you know, I got invited again to Port Harcourt, which is another home for me. <laughs> you know, I lived in Port Harcourt for 10 good years. Wow. And then they called years. you back. Yeah, so we called, they called me back. I mean, at first we did over a thousand, just a bit over a thousand. Now I've been called back to do 20,000. 20,000? 20, yes, 20,000. You know, you know, at first when they asked me how much I wanted, I said, okay, why don't I just call a number that they will not meet? That was what brought this 20,000. <laughs> that was how I came to a thousand hectares. Because we were doing, you know, in Gambia, 500 hectares, which is huge. Mm -hmm. You know, here, almost about the same thing. So say, you know what, let me just double it. I'm sure they will not give it to me. So that will stop me going there. Because I thought, you know, <laughs> handling Sierra Leone and Gambia was enough. And when I called for it, they said, yes, we'll do it. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> and every condition I asked for, they said, yes, we'll match it. And they first tracked it. You know, we signed an MOU and within 10 days, the governor said, look, I want to lay the foundation stone. Within 10 uh, yes. days. So that's, it was uh, done. That's historic for you, right? Yes, it is. It yeah. is. But normally it takes a long time to negotiate all this. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that we they knew who we were. We have a track record, not only in Port Harcourt, but in the whole of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If you mention the name Taf Africa Global, people know who we are. And we've built a track record there. We have our staff there. And we've been successful in delivering the, the, the drift of Gulf Estate. Mm -hmm. So when I go to, to Nigeria, when I go to Port Harcourt, I stay in the estate itself, which is very rare. Yeah. As a developer, walking down the, the, the estate, and nobody stops you and complains about anything. Other, other than that, they invite me to their homes. Oh, come, let's have soup together. <laughs> or oh, let's meet at the clubhouse. Let's have a drink. Or oh, let's go for a walk. You hear that? When yeah. this place is ready, cassava leaves. Every yes, yes, every. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so it's fun. I mean, it's telling on me. I mean, you flying from here out and, you know, jumping around in the coast. And let me tell you, there's many more to come. There's many more, many to, more to come. come. We want to make sure that in every sub-Saharan Africa, we have this signage there. The now, beautiful yeah. Taft Salon Micro City. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so let me just tell you what happened. If you go to Gambia, what do you find right in the middle there is Taft City. Yes. You know, now here you see Taf Salon Micro City. In Nigeria, it's Greater Taf because it's in, the, it's in the Greater Port Harcourt. Oh, it's not because it's 20,000 homes. So. No, it was in the Greater Port Harcourt there area. There we go. You know, so that's why it's called Greater Taf. Because again, same structure, structure, it's a JVA, it's a joint venture agreement that's with the right. government. Yes. And my argument really about housing now, what we have done is we've standardized the houses. So, in the Gambia, the two bedroom that is called the Mariatu. Mm -hmm. Here, it is called the Saleh. Hey, Saleh. In, 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 in Nigeria, it's called the Charity. Oh. And my argument really is that, look, when you're buying a car, what do you do? If you want to buy a Toyota Corolla, the term Toyota Corolla is driven all over the world. That's right. So in Africa, we all live the same. So why don't we standardize? So when we import our materials, when we are negotiating with the big manufacturers, then we go to them with numbers. They will now know that, look, this guy is, has now sealed, you know, 30,000 houses to build. Yes. So we can negotiate for those numbers. Our builders are trained so they go cross countries from one country to the other, building the same thing. Yes. You know, our sales um, executives, they're selling the same thing. Yes. So that's really the whole idea behind all this. Well, you know what supports all of that? Apart from obviously the construction side and that model is your 12 core values of leadership. Yes. You know, you talk about that. So yes. if you have all your employees watching this every yes. Monday, the yes. Monday motivation, yes. they're getting stronger, more confident. Look yes. at me. Yes. I've gone from marketing manager to general manager. There you, you know? go. There you go. So that's the signage right in the middle here. Have you seen the Sanita? I love it. That's the big signage yes. here. So yes. all your selfies and so on, people live here. Yes. That's the spot to have your selfies. That's the selfie spot. Selfie spot. <laughs> you know what's going to happen here? This is just the beginning. We're going to have all these now landscaped. Nice. Flowers. And we haven't finished it here. You know, there are some other structures that we're going to have here. 
yeah. and then painting will be done. But you can see that's on. So this is our selfie spot. So Should we take what? one? Come for a selfie no, now. Take a selfie. selfie, yeah, selfie time, huh? Taf there Shalom. we go. Micro City. So Taf Salon Micro City. So if you're Salonian anywhere you are in the world, come buy your house here in Taf Salon. <laughs> here you are now in Taf Salon Micro City. And this is the entrance. Now, as you come in, this is standard in all our, uh, our developments. Now, here you go. This is now the exit where I am. There will be two lanes that goes this way. And then that's the entrance over there. Right in the middle, that's the signage that you have in every TAF development. So obviously, we identify it with Salon. It's a micro city. In Gambia, it's a whole city. Then in Port Harcourt, it's the greater city. So here you go. You have an island here. You see, we've packed everything already. So the island will be here. And now this is the entrance. Two lanes there. And then if you come further, you will see that the fence is over there. I'll just run quickly and show you where the fence is. So this is the fence here. You see, that's where the fence will start. So from the fence to that peg that you see here, this all will be landscaped and you're going to have your bicycle lane and your pedestrian lane. So people don't have to be walking on the driveway. So these are only vehicular and these are where the class will be. Now, come, let me show you. For those of you who've been to Taft City, you know that we've built, a, uh, we've, we've, we've built um, a, a gatehouse. So this is the gatehouse here. So you drive in and then all the controls will be right in here. One thing I like about Sierra Leone, it's the gradient of the land. So it's hilly, so you go on a gradient and there are advantages to that, meaning that it will be drained off easily. Now, this is the main roundabout. Here you go. You see this roundabout here? When you hit here, this way you go to where the bungalows are. Where you've seen already, we've started already. The bungalows are being built here. And where these trees are, this is where the clubhouse would be. Then when you come this end, this is where the apartments are. Now, let me just show you something quite interesting in this cluster here. You see all these trees here? We didn't cut them down. Even these smaller trees that are growing, we leave them where they are. And this is where the clubhouse is. You see how big it is? So you're going to have, you know, restaurants, bars, swimming pool, play area, you know, for kids and also for adults to sit out. So this will be the clubhouse. Now guys, let's go over to the first houses that are built. We've started already with the Salles, the uh, Sia, and the, the Howards we are the two and three bedroom bungalows. It's all done, it's all built now, Stru solid structures. And um, as you know, <laughs> sold. When I first came in, we were wondering, oh, are you sure they'll buy it, you know? But here they are. We don't start any building if we haven't sold it yet. So 20 of them all sold plus more. But we just wanted to give confidence. Remember on uh, Tuesday, the vice president of uh, Sierra Leone, Mohammed uh, Jul de Jallo came to lay the foundation stone. But it's good because by the time he came, we had already started building. So there's confidence. So nobody will doubt that these guys are going to do it or not. So here, I'm going to lead you towards the Hawa. And you can see this is an improved version of what we have in the Gambia in terms of the roofing. We've got these roof, roof, roofing sheets that we have, and these are roofing tiles with stone coating on it. And look at how neat the work is. We haven't even plastered, all straight, nicely done. So this is the Hawa. The Hawa is a two bedroom. The land size is 300 square meters. And then you have the, um, the, the, the built area is 73 square meters. Now in here, you can pack about three cars in front. And then at the back, I will show you later, you can have your BQ and everything that you need. These houses are going to be built finished. In Nigeria, it's different. In Nigeria, we're doing carcasses. We're just building it like this and then sell it. We think later in, in Sierra Leone, we, we were considering doing it. And same thing in the Gambia, just to bring the price down. So there you go, follow me in. So you come nicely, well elevated, huh? So you have one, two, three steps. So you come to a veranda here. So this is the veranda, and then you walk in here. You can look at the blocks. All solidly done, huh? Now, you have these two windows in here. 
we always leave a blank wall like this so you can display all your TVs and whatever you want to put in. Now this is a living and then the dining room comes here. So you have your dining table in there. Then you come through here. Now on the left hand side, you have a kitchen. Very spacious kitchen. Then from the kitchen, you step out. So you're gonna have, if you want to have your outdoor kitchen or whatever you want to do, you can step out from here. At times people enter the house from the back door. So coming from the back door, you can enter through here and into the kitchen. And remember, in this one here, we're gonna put all the kitchen appliances just like what you have in the Gambia. Next is you have the general toilet. Toilet and shower, which will be used by guests and also by the first bedroom. Now this is the first bedroom, which is meant for a family, for the kids. So here you go. So we're gonna put all the electrical pipes and have them well plastered. Then now let's go to the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom here. You can see, big, and then it's en suite. So you're gonna have your shower, your WC, and your wash hand basin and a water heater. Now what is very interesting is that this house, you can easily expand it. Now when you expand it, then it becomes a sear. Now it's a hour, which is 73 square meters, but later after buying it, you can now extend it to a 90 square meter, three bedroom, a sear. So this is it. Let's go outside now. I'll show you the space that you have outside. So you come out from the back door, again, stepped out. You have your, your fence over here. And then there you go, over 120 square meters already outside here. So you see the backyard. The backyard comes all the way to this peg here. All the way to here. So you see, you see the distance from this point all the way through this point, it's your backyard. And then if you wish, you can build a swimming pool if you want, or you can build your BQ, all yours. So this is the Hawa on a 300 square meter land. So let me take, take you to the others. This is uh, the Sia. The Sia is a three bedroom and it is sitting on a 375 square meters. Those of you who are in Sierra Leone, it's more than a town lot. So this is the biggest bungalow that we are doing. So it's 15 meters wide by 25 meters deep. Now let's go up here. As you know, in Sierra Leone, especially on this land, it's hilly. So we have to step these ones up. So you go up the steps like this and you can see how high it is. So you come in again, just like the, the Hawa, the size of the living and dining is the same as the Hawa. There is no difference. So now, when you come in, as I said on the, in the Hawa, you've got your kitchen here. That's your kitchen. Again, with an outdoor right there. And then from there, you have two toilets. What we've done here, you've got a shower and a toilet. They are separated. So one can be used for a toilet, one for a shower. Now, you have the first bedroom here. So first bedroom is over here. You have your first bedroom over here. There you go, first bedroom. You know, so your, your boys or your girls can be here. And then you have your second bedroom is over here. And they are the ones who will use the general toilets and shower. Now you have now the master bedroom, which is here. So this is the master bedroom here. Master bedroom, big, and then you've got now your toilet and shower for the master bedroom. So this is the extension of the Hawa, and it's 90 square meters, and it is called the Sia. In Nigeria, it is called the Blessing. The Blessing is 90 square meters and sitting on at 375 square meters. So let's go out outside. You see, you have quite a big space here. Remember, you can park about almost four cars in the front here. Four cars can be parked here. And let's go out at the back here. And the back, as I said, you have over 120 square meters or more. And it is the sea here. You see, you can build your outhouse out here or build your swimming pool or any other facilities that you need. So this is the sea free bedroom. This is called the Sale. The Sale, the size is 10 meters wide by 25 meters deep. And in total, it's 250 square meters. Now, when you go inside the house, the house itself, it's 
49 square meters, seven by seven. Efficiency in design. Remember, if you design your houses efficient, you will use less energy, less water, and just you cut down on wasted space. Let me tell you about the entrance here. As you can see, I mean, a car, to fit a car, it's only about 20 half meters. So you can have a car here, allow a door to open there, go one, two and a half. You can have a car there, and then go one, two and a half, another car here. I think it's ideal to put two cars here. You can safely park two cars here. So can you imagine? 250 square meters land, nice landscaping. You can pull your gazebo over here, you know, or you put your nice garden here, nicely done. This can be paved and you have access on both sides going to the back. So this is called the salle and we're going to finish it up. So when you come in here, you have a security door. Then right in here, you will have your living and dining. It's for starters or somebody who's retired. I'm encouraging you to stop building those, build ha those big houses. Especially when you build two, two, um, two stories, you get old, you cannot go up those stairs. So it's ideal for somebody who's retired or for, for an investment. Then when you come in here, you have your kitchen in here. Kitchen all done with all the kitchen cabinets fitted in. The appliances will be extra. Well, we are going to put the extractor as part of it, you know, and the, and the sink. Now you can then buy your own cooker, your own fridge, and the appliances that comes with it. And obviously you have always an outdoor from the kitchen. Now, coming back here, you have two bedrooms. One bedroom is here, which is for a guest or for uh, your kids. Then you have the toilet and shower here for this bedroom. This is a sizable bedroom. So you can put your bed here and then put your small wardrobe over there. Nice and manageable. Then in here, you have the master bedroom in there. This is the master bedroom. As you come in, you have a shower in there, a WC, which is a water closet, and then your wash hand basin. And then you see, this is much bigger for a master bedroom. Window again, cross ventilation, high ceilings. So don't waste any time. Come and get your salé from Taf Salon Micro City. In the backyard here, you can actually have, you know, another building built here. So remember, I told you it was seven by seven. So just measure from this point. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 meters. So you can live three meters from there and then build another bungalow as big as this or your own design. It's all yours. So you can put your garden in here, even if you wish, put a pool. So this is the salé here in Sierra Leone. You can see the fence is all done now. You have your backyard. In the next two months, you will have this house totally finished as a model home. So if you're interested to come and see physically, this is what you see. And guys, I just turn and look at this. Now, just look at this here. Look at the view, man. This is it. Look at the mountains or the hills over here. Really green. And you know, this will not be touched. It will be left like this. So this, there's definitely, it's definitely a good place to live in. I am here with one of our contractors and uh, just tell them who you are. My name is uh, Isaac, the contractor that built the 49 square meters. Now Isaac, let me ask you, when did you start with Tap Africa Global? I started with Tap Africa Global 2019, when COVID-19 shortly started. Before it happened in 2020, yes? Yeah, before it happens in 2020. Where, where, where did you start with We us? started in Gambia. Oh, you came to Gambia, but yes. before Gambia, how about before you? I was working in Riftaf Golf Estate. But yeah. So when did you start in Riftaf Golf Estate? I started 2016. So 2016, he started with us, and you were working there as what? As a as a mason. So he started as a mason in 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 Riftaf Golf Estate in Port Harcourt, and then from a mason, what did you do again? I I, I started supervising the job. Then I started collecting subcontracts from the company. Yes. From there, company moved me to the Gambia. Wow. Then I started working as a contractor. Yes. From the Gambia, after four years and a month and some days. Yeah. And now, company again moved me to come and start the uh, tough Salon Micro City. Wow. And here I am. Now tell them the secret now about you and Sierra Leone. I will let them one out. Tell them what is happening with you and Sierra Leone. Uh, Sierra Leone is a very nice place to invest in. It's a very good place. Like for me, I didn't even know that one day I will come and start working in Sierra Leone. But then the opportunity comes. It's a very, it's a very good place to live. Yeah. They are friendly. They are nice people. 
they receive all people like their own. So I love living in Sierra Leone. I'm happy staying here. You have to stay here, but what yes. happened in Gambia, you and Sierra Leoneans? You have to tell them now. What did you have, Sierra Leonean? Who did yes. you meet in, Sierra, in Gambia? I met my wife in Sierra Leone. Aha, and in I Gambia? Met my wife in the Gambia. Yeah. She's and a she's Sierra Leonean. Sierra Leonean. Yes, I traveled 2020, yeah. December 23rd. Yeah. We did our traditional wedding. Then 24th, we did the white wedding. Then we where, where, back. where, where did in you do Sierra it? Leone, in yeah. Sierra Leone. So you met in the my Gambia. Family. Yes. Your, guy, your, your wife is Sierra Leonean. Yes. She was living we in, the met in the Gambia. You met her and then you traveled here in to December. Come and you got married. Yes. And then you went back to Gambia. I think that's what about, that was about, we met in February yeah. 2009, uh, 2020. Yeah. We got married in, in December, yeah. about 10 months plus. Wow. And you are blessed with what? We what are you? blessed with a beautiful bouncing baby girl. Wow. And What's her name? Her name is Praise. Praise, man. Praise to God, man. Guys, you know what? Echo us. You have to record this. This is what happened now. Huh? This is what is happening. Look at this guy. Nigerian, walked with a Gambian in Port Harcourt, and then went to Gambia, met a Sierra Leonean, and then now got, came here, got married, now have a beautiful bouncing baby girl, and now he has been moved to Sierra Leone to come and work. This is what, you know, Pan-Africanism is all about. Africa without any border. You know, and the same thing echoes. So here you are, Isaac. Thank you so much. Isaac thank is one you, of our hardworking contractors. So all you young ones who are out there, please pick up a trade. When you pick up a trade, you can be exported. You are hard currency. So you can move from one country to the other and you will work and you will add your hand currency. Okay, so MD is off to Gambia, probably Nigeria next, and back here. I can't keep up with his schedule. And another thing I can't keep up with is the rate of sales in Salon. So Taft Salon Microcity, as you know, we launched in July. We opened the office in maybe August. Either way, we've been selling. We've been selling and people have been buying. We have customers all over and everything is online. So these days, it's so easy to call a sales rep, get them down here to do a virtual viewing for you, anyone. So. We've talked about the three bungalows that we have right now. We had the Hawa, which is a 73 um, square meters bungalow. And that starts from, let's look at the monthly payments. You know, you can look in at about $1,278 every month. So what you pay for your home now, you know it's gonna go up and up. That's the Hawa. Then we have the Sia and the Saleh. The Saleh is obviously just like the Marietta in the Gambia. 49 square meters, the smallest one. Now that's the lowest one. So with that, $885 every month and you can secure a Saleh. And then we have the Hawa, 73 square meters and that is 1,278 every month. Look, some of you are sitting, you know, somewhere abroad and thinking, why should I come back home? With TAF Africa Global, we now have three countries that we're running projects in. Nigeria with Greater TAF, we have TAF Salon Microcity in Sierra Leone, and we have TAF City in the Gambia. Three guaranteed developments in three different countries, three different appetites that you know you can secure a home in. And what we're offering you is a live, work and play concept. So look at me. I've been in Africa for under two years and I have progressed so well and so quickly. And I say to you, if you're sitting somewhere in the cold, it's probably cold right now, don't hesitate to make that first step towards your dream home, your dream life back in Africa. There's so much to offer and Africa really is the place to be. There's so many beautiful things happening. I'm just getting ready to run now because there's so many hills here in Sierra Leone and I have to keep fit. The food is amazing and yes, <laughs> I have to run, there's no bicycle, but I can run! Running into the hills, running with your dreams, I'm gonna make them a reality. Call the sales team today, woohoo! Did you know service plots are now available at Baki? Welcome to Baki, Taft City's fourth residential estate. Yes! 
Service plots available at Backy with three years interest free payment plan with a minimum deposit of only $94,000 and it will come with fence plot, water reticulation, electricity, solar street lights and bituminous internal roads. Are you ready to build your dream home for yourself? Call us now 